Hi, welcome to this video. So Jupiter moves into Scorpio on October 11th, 2017, and will be there until November 8th of 2018. So a little more than a year, it'll be in Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio rules the depths and the depths of our subconscious and unconscious minds. And it's also where energies merge and become one. And in that merging, transformation occurs. And in merging, there's a need to contend with the darkest parts of ourselves as well as others. So the Scorpio relationship is very intense and it's very transformative. You have to meet your shadow within the Scorpio relationship. So Scorpio in a way does rule that, uh, an aspect of relationship, but it's also more about transformation and death and discovery through the depths, through the darkness. It's the shadow, the dark side, the places you don't see, and there are different levels of Scorpio. Um, one of the levels is the Scorpion. That's the first level. So the Scorpion has a poisonous tail. So the way that we can interpret this psychologically is that someone is born with a chip on their shoulder. There's a wound, a deep soul wound within that person that they need to figure out how to transform it. Perhaps they were born in a toxic environment or a situation that just needs to transform. So um, my dad was a Scorpio and he was definitely a Scorpion Scorpio. So there was some issues in terms of him. He's ha he hasn't evolved even to this day. So there is a poison within him that he has not been able to bring into the light. Then there's also the uh, eagle and then, um, oh yeah, the phoenix before the eagle. So the phoenix is one who is transformed and is rising from the ashes of their old life. Someone who has realized that their old ways are no longer working and that they're ready to start fresh, start anew. And then the eagle is one who's risen above their problems. They've risen above the old issues that they may have had. Uh, could even be past life issues. Um, so the highest vibrational Scorpio is the eagle. So anyways, um, Jupiter being in Scorpio gives us a chance to learn through our experiences and also by going within ourselves deeper within ourselves into the depths of our own minds, but also into the depths of research and discovery of the hidden things within the world. So this is a chance for all of us to learn deeper about something, uh, dig deeper into what is hidden and dig deeper into what is hidden within ourselves so that we can expand and grow even more. So this is a time of digging into the roots, which will help us to expand more in general. So it can help raise us up eventually, but first we must dig <laughs> and get deep in there and learn about where, who we are, where we come from and what our true soul purpose is because Jupiter of course rules a bit of that. There's that somewhat spiritual, religious current with Jupiter. And it's also about travel too. So if you do travel, you may encounter a, a certain amount of darkness, but in that darkness, you will find more of who you are and you'll expand and grow beyond those things. Now, looking at things from a more societal perspective, Jupiter and Scorpio, is going to be bringing up issues of shared resources. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be necessarily bad. Uh, it's, right now things are so crazy that it's really hard for me to like fully understand where this Jupiter and Scorpio is taking us. But 
Jupiter will help us to perhaps expand in the area of shared resources. It doesn't really seem like that's the case right now, but perhaps, you know, there will be more goodwill uh, being done to help people further along uh, by sharing, you know, being someone who's sharing your resources, being someone who's uh, giving. But there's also those who are in need and who may need to, uh, you know, gain through others. Uh, and there will be kind of maybe some themes around that coming up, especially with the disasters that have struck. There will be this whole need for sharing resources with the people who've lost everything. And so this could be being brought up in that way. So perhaps a new program could come out or something where there's shared resources being created. Um, or even traveling, you know, maybe helping other countries with resources because, uh, of course, Jupiter does rule um, the foreign, you know, lands and uh, even uh, people from other countries. So we may need to help others from other countries even. And maybe they'll need to help us, you know, or something, you know. So that's, you know, the my take on Jupiter and Scorpio. And then uh, Saturn moves into Capricorn not too long from now on December 19th, 2017. And we'll be there until December 16th of 2020. So it'll be there for almost three years. So this Saturn in Capricorn is a doozy, okay? Because it will be conjunct Pluto at some point. It'll be trying Uranus when Uranus moves into Taurus, which I'll talk about in a moment. And it's also going to be um, interacting with Jupiter and Scorpio. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of um, structural implications here in terms of what this Saturn in Capricorn is going to bring us. Likely, there's going to be a death and rebirth of the structures within our society, things that are no longer working, things that are restricting us, things that are just becoming so worn out and not useful anymore to humanity, to the structures that are needed now. Like, um, so, Things have been shifting for a while with Pluto and Capricorn. We've seen a lot of what's going on. You know, we know what's going on at a deeper level in terms of the authority figures and the structures that are in place. All of the things that have been being mismanaged and just straight out harming people. So <laughs> there's more to contend with and things have not yet fallen away that were meant to fall away. Saturn moving into Capricorn is likely going to have that occur. With Uranus moving into Taurus, this is going to be upsetting the financial systems that are in place. Uranus is a rebellious uh, revolutionary. It's going to revolutionize the way we uh, do money, you know, the whole thing. Currency is likely to change. It's, you know, it's still very iffy right now. Like, there's a lot of fighting uh, against Bitcoin by these bigger uh, banks and people who are in power. They don't like it at all. They don't like the whole uh, blockchain monetary system that is being formed, that is being created by technology. Technology <laughs> is a very Uranian-ruled Thing. Uranus rules technology. So Uranus moving into Taurus, the money sign, things are looking like cryptocurrency may just take off, but there's still a lot to contend with there, of course. So I don't know exactly what's going to occur with this, but um, Uranus trine Saturn <laughs> and Saturn conjunct Pluto. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Uranus-Pluto square has given us a taste of what this is going to bring. Uh, Saturn being in Scorpio gave us a taste of what this could be, even, because that's when Occupy started and people were pissed off about what the banks were doing and 
Uh, the fact that, you know, things are just, they need to become decentralized and Uranus moving in a Taurus is going to be about decentralizing that. And I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I don't know for sure, obviously, because I'm not necessarily a psychic. I'm just an astrologer. I'm interpreting the symbols here. So <laughs> I am a little limited in what I can imagine here. But uh, yeah, things, things may get intense in these next few years. Uh, and some structures are likely to fall away. And hopefully we will be strong enough to make it through these things as people. Because we must become powerful within ourselves become independent of the structures. We can't rely on these structures anymore. So we need to find ways to be resourceful within ourselves so that we don't get harmed in the situations. So whoever you are out there watching this video right now, think of ways that you can become independent and resourceful within yourself. Uranus and Taurus is going to teach us how to become resourceful within ourselves independently, but also how can we group together and become stronger individually and collectively so that we can create community so that we're not left in the dust of these potential issues that could be cropping up. So anyways, uh, <laughs> I know these are gonna be likely intense times. I don't know for sure. Not trying to freak you guys out or create a bunch of doom and gloom out there, but I'm putting out there how I'm interpreting these symbols. And what my interpretation is, is that things are maybe going to go downhill. So <laughs> just be prepared. Uh, I don't know, you know, for sure, but it's also going to be my own Saturn return. So who knows how that's going to play out. I've, I've been reading about Saturn returns forever and I'm just like, Oh God, here it comes. <laughs> hopefully it's not that bad. You know, hopefully, you know, things have been traumatized or something. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome time. Uh, talk to you soon.